Hello everyone, it's me A7 welcoming you to my new episode of Lightroom. Today class is free. In this video, I'm going to show you how to manage the export settings actually and how to make the watermark and number three, how to put watermark, how to export with the watermark and how to export batch photo with the watermark. And the main thing is that the export settings, what will be in the proper way so let's start the tutorial if you're new in my channel please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications so directly going to the export menu actually going to the file and going to the export options so this window will appear when you are going to export and then here is the specific folder and here is the same folder as original photo if you want you can export in a same folder where you keep your photos and choose the default default or the um, choose folder uh, later useful presets or whatever and desktop as well and uh, the home folder movie folder pictures folder so here is options but specific folder if you select here is a choose options and you can select the uh, options suppose I want to choose here from uh, this folder and choose this folder and I want to give the final rename you can name rename the photo final output so final output is our uh, folder name and then I'm just hiding this one here the file naming file naming you can make the custom file naming or you can the custom name or original file number if you keep the uh, file or original file number it will take your photographs number actually or you can rename or this one suppose um, uh, you want to make the uh, name like uh, asm arif so you can make the rename of this or you can make the event name suppose winter winter photo so it will help you out to search your photo in future and the video options uh, we are exporting only the pictures that's why the video options is uh, deactive and the file setting this one is most important things here is the options or file format or image format PSD format you can export TIF format PNG DNG and the original one I'm just selected the JPG one and here is the quality here you can define the quality how many quality you want and here is the color space or color profile here is other color profile like Photoshop Adobe RGB display or sRGB I just here given the sRGB okay standard RGB which is really uh, helpful because of if you keep this sRGB or standard RGB it will support and it will show all the device in the same color here is the limit of the size because of uh, suppose now when you want to submit the photo in exhibition or into the website or otherwhere uh, there should be or there might be the file or limit of the file size limit of the file size is helping you out suppose um, there something tool like that you can upload to upper than 2 megabyte or lower than 2 megabyte then you can define the file size of the things or the file size of the all photos if you uncheck this one the original quality or 100 percent quality will appear hiding this one image size you can resize the image suppose you want to uh, support or in an exhibition and you can like pixels like uh, height like uh, 256 or you can make this one 4k or 2k suppose 2560 and 1440 it will resize and here is the resolution options pixel per inch and pixel per centimeters suppose in exhibition submission they just told that 300 pixel is mandatory you can put this one 300 pixel that is the things and outputs separating uh, that is mandatory not mandatory or like uh, sharpen sharpening if you want uh, like matte paper glossy paper this one is for the uh, printing settings actually uh, if you want to print out in a matte paper uh, this one should be like that because of if you select the matte paper it will export like uh, according to the matte paper or glossy paper 
or like screen i'm using the screen over here because of it this one is a digital device and metadata i just always keep the metadata metadata is information of the photo like uh, who is the photographer where you captured the photo and uh, file size iso uh, like exposure or white balance whatever the settings remove the person of information if you check this one or remove the location you can check or you can keep all metadata like copyright and content info only and you can all metadata select this okay that's good and now that is the watermark section so signature if you want to make the signature edit watermark go to the edit watermark already i uh, edited um, two or three things here already i am using uh, things here is two option here one is the text suppose you want to use the text like uh, asm arif photography so here is one options and here is the font choosing options suppose i want to use like poppins type font here is this one you can make this one more smaller like here is the opacity here is the angle and here is the here is the fit options okay and fill options i want to make this one and here is the proportion and fit so i want to make all the stuffs into like uh, the other images like uh, this one nato and i want to change the name so like this or fit or proportion into like this so small and i want to make this one like this that means in the downside in a middle or into left side okay and if i save this one you should give the name like tutorial okay and hit, hit the create button when we are exporting these so this one is a text watermark i'll show you how to use the signature watermark if i export these okay i'm exporting those things into the folder and let's see what is applying and how it works so going to the directory and let's find out the folder okay here is the final output options let's see asmre photography all the photo you are getting the same thing asmre photographies okay that's nice and let's see the final one which is the watermark edit watermark and now we'll go to the graphic watermark so in this portion you have to choose the gra graphic watermark before that you have to make the watermark your water going to the illustrator and we'll make the uh, illustration or like watermark like that or if, if you are not a designer you can use the cursive font uh, which is really good so i have another technique because of all photographers are not graphic designer and i'll show you which one should be uh, used like that suppose i want to uh, make this one into the signature type so asm a r i f so choose a font which is cursive or like signature type suppose like that asm arif or you can make or put on this portion it would be like this and you can save this one and apply the same process which i told you earlier or if you want to learn how to make the signature here is a file or i'm in a illustrator going to new artboard from here new file or new artboard okay after that going to the text tool taking text and making the text bigger and writing down my name okay select a cursive font lots of font in website dafont.com and i'll provide you the download link in my video description so here suppose this type of font asmr if or these these whichever do you like or you can filterize from here actually going to the font section from here 
and you can find out those here is the filter option and filtering the cursive type fonts how many fonts are there yeah ASMRF it could be so and adding another one the photography the regular one you have to deselect and here okay that's nice and making it smaller making that all into like that and then copying this one by pressing the alter option button and making this one into white color and right press and export selection and signature okay that's fine and then i'll export it into my folder actually in this folder that's good and export the asset okay from 300 dpi i'll work with that signature folder so now going back to the lightroom going to the graphic options this one is telling you that upload photo already we exported the photo a signature and choose this one asmr if and you can put anywhere so in the right side should be okay and save this one giving the name okay signature asm and hit the create button and now you can export suppose we are exporting this one and we are using unique username and let's see uh, the way or let's see the output and going to the folder actually episode 3 final output and winter winter so those are the previous one and after using the signature we are getting that so if you are using the signature in a text uh, in a signature so that is creative signature one is creative and i'll already show you how to make the signature and i have lots of tutorials about how to make the signature logo photography logo and i'll provide you the video link in my video description so hope that you learned a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend until the next video asmr signing out stay safe stay at home bye bye